pray. We are not praying because we are desperate. We are praying because there is something inside us telling us there is a day that is going to come of reckoning where men are going to look back into me and they must find that that which the Lord had blessed inside of me somehow came out. The Bible says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Eleventh of August, twenty eighteen, at Kololo Airstrip. Venero, make manifest. Oh, 
Glorious evening. Can we shout glory? glory? 
Come on, can we shout glory? Let's raise those hands. Father, thank you for hearing ears tonight. As my dear friend Grace and I just chat about what it means to truly die to ourselves, to serve you, I pray that hearts are touched, the lives are transformed, that the cause of Christ be championed today. Jesus and him glorified nothing else nothing more nothing less but jesus but jesus but jesus lord will be careful for what you're going to do thank you for the tens and tens of thousands that will hear these wonderful stories i pray lord that you be lifted up that you be lifted up and we shall all be careful to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise in jesus matchless majestic Glorious, incredible name. And everybody shout. Yeah. Everybody shout. Yeah. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Well, we are here. We're going to have church up in here. Look at your neighbor. Tell him, neighbor. You better be listening tonight. Open your hearts and let's have fun. Amen. Look at that neighbor. Look at the other neighbor. Tell him, you look really good today. All right. Have your seats. Have your seats. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Want to honor you. Thank you for Narrow Worship Team. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Welcome to this wonderful night. It's an evening of uh, honest, candid conversations concerning ministry. We're calling it the minister's huddle. A few months ago, my name is Dr. Dennis Mpebo, of course, and a few months ago, um. Um, uh, we met to just chat, you know, uh, Apostle Grace and I, and, and we, we really, we had like a five-hour meal, you know, talking about stuff, talking about ministry, um, realizing that between us, there's really almost two generations, you know, um, because of, yeah, don't, hey, 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 hey yeah, because uh, I'm turning 51, 50, I've turned 51, almost 52, and, um, between us is actually 50 years of ministry, and we, it, then it dawned on us that we are being handed something, something precious, something precious. Um, our fathers gave us something, uh, gave us these disciplines, gave us, but, and then the trepidation that, oh boy, we better handle it a certain way so we so our sons and sons sons when they come and daughters 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 that they have something of a script to read something that they can say okay this is what ministry is about and so welcome of course next city next to me apostle grace vega thank you for having us There's a lot of Fanero ones in here, right? What do you, what do you call them? What do you call them? What do you yeah, call Fanero. <laughs> for, oh, Fanero, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming. And, and Grace, let's just jump right into it. Um, uh, ministry, ministry, this thing called ministry. Where does it begin for you? So I think, uh, firstly, we thank God for this. We thank God for this. Where ministers can sit and just talk. That you just talk, you know, they are free, they have a freedom, and so if we take the masks off, it's okay. Praise God. Amen. Ministry uh, for me begins at the realization of God being real, finally, yeah. because there's, there's a place where Christianity has been so super, superficial right. that it gives an idea about God. Mm. It has an idea about God. Right. And out of desperacy and the many things that happen, we are forced to assume that God is something he, he actually isn't. isn't. Yeah. So the reality, firstly, of the minister for me, and I believe for many of us, all of us, is that realization that God was actually that real. And sadly, yeah. that there are people who are ministering yeah. of a God they actually know not. Like he told the lady, you worship what you know not. You know, like the Bible says, the God of this world has blinded them from the knowledge of the truth. 
yeah. of this glorious gospel right. in the face and image of Christ. Right. So for me, it begins with that realization that Jesus was real. And for me, it began when I was eight at a crusade ground. I love that. I was playing football with the friends, and I hear this wonderful crusade? preacher preach. Yes, it was a crusade. Yeah. In fact, arranged by one pastor, yeah. Maweje, the father of one of our pastors. Right. So there's this preacher preaching, and he's talking about the Jesus. And I've been Roman Catholic. I knew there was a God somewhere. Jesus was mentioned in the equation. Yeah. Long and short, he's leading us through a confession prayer, and Jesus appears, and I see him with his eyes, and I can't believe that he's actually real. So from then on, I believe that was the beginning of the making of the minister yeah, before right. he transitions into the ministry. Right. So for, I think it began with the minister. Yeah. The, uh, uh, a conversion experience, a conversion. I'm finding that, and as we travel uh, ministry, just over 23 countries around the world, and we're finding what I'm calling false conversions. Mm -hmm. People that came to a meeting, they heard the message of Jesus, they were tickled, mm -hmm. they responded in the euphoria of the emotions, they came, they were put immediately into some program, but they never had an encounter with Jesus. Reminds me of a story in the, in the, in the, in the, in, with the children of Israel. Yeah. The Bible says that when the children of Israel crossed from Egypt while through going into the wilderness, yeah. the Bible says they, they crossed with mixed multitudes. Wow. Wow. These mixed multitudes yeah. experienced the miracle. Mm -hmm. When the waters were passed in, God didn't say, let me sink the mixed multitude. No. Uh -uh. The, the Bible says the mixed multitude that was among them, it, it later fell a lasting. These are the same people that starred the yeah, children yeah. of Israel yeah. into wishing to go back into Egypt. But yeah. when the miracles were happening, the mixed multitudes were present. And amazingly, yeah. the Hebrew definition of the mixed multitudes are them which come with a sheepfold because of what they can receive, what they can get out of that desperacy and the need for aid. You see, you come to salvation because you want a man. You're desperate for yeah, a man. And yeah. this preacher tells you, yeah. if you're tired of being single, yeah. just confess these words. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I get your point. Yes, yeah. carry on. <laughs> come on. No, no, no. Yeah. You know, but because, yeah, because Jesus, Jesus is like a Father Christmas, you know. Mm. He's the giver, bless, blesser, fixer. Come to that Jesus, this glamorous Jesus. Mm. And everybody knows Pastor Grace. There is a day when Jesus doesn't look so glamorous. Mm -hmm. When there's a day when Jesus doesn't fix you. For example, come, he'll fix you. Come, he'll fix you. And, oh, here, oh, here's the formula. Mm. Confess, give, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. You, so you, Jesus is formulaic. Mm. This is the combination mm. that the body of Christ, the, the, the halls of the body of Christ are filled with carcasses of mm. just guys who just didn't make it because mm. when they keyed in the combination Jesus didn't do mm. and Jesus didn't do so they hit a crisis mm. and the preacher was quiet the preacher was quiet which is why I like this conversation okay. <laughs> I, like, I like this conversation because we're able to not just glamorize Jesus because what happens because we serve see, we serve in countries like in the Middle East some of the Middle East where coming to Jesus is actually dangerous you'll die coming mm. to Jesus mm. You can't sell some of the Jesus that I see on TV mm. in some of those places because mm. that's his too, that one is too, it's too glamorous. Mm. He won't, so you have a Jesus that only works in certain communities but not others. Is that the true Jesus? I think it's, it's the generation of quick fixes. It's the right. generation that wants the results without the process. It's the generation that says he's the answer without responding to the equation. That they don't uh, want to I follow it. that if you're doing mathematics, for example, that this is the answer, five. Right. But how did you arrive to five? Yeah. They, want five they want five without explaining the whole equation. Yeah. They want to get the equation wrong. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, and the, the, part that, the, the part that questions are, puts the question of what is the glamour in this right. is the appreciation of the process and the right. equation. Absolutely. The fact that every minister has a making. Right. You don't just wake up and you're a minister. You don't just wake up and you're a man of God. No, what people see is this. And there's somebody dreaming right now. They just want to wake up when they're here. Speaking to people right. live on television. That's right. <laughs> you see? So I think the frustrations come when we show answers yeah. but without 
understanding the process, the yeah. patterns, yeah. the equation yeah. that takes us to these answers. And yeah. so, and, and, and some of these equations have, they have meanderings, they have, they have twists and turns, they have ups and downs, they have things that, that, that prepare us for making a minister. They're, equ they're equations, aren't they? Yes, they they're are equations. equations because see, see, and it seems like, God bless their hearts, some of our fathers, some of our predecessors, call them that, actually like the mystique. So they leave us guess guessing. This is why they love the mystique. <laughs> they love the mystique. Because, because yeah. of the fear that if we can guess it through. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And maybe the question is, Paul comes and he says, I want to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. That's right. That's that your right. eyes will be flooded with light, that you may know the hope of your calling, the glorious riches of inheritance of sins, and the exceeding greatness of power that is at work within us. Yeah. I think sometimes, again, in, more so specifically for our nation, more so the African continent, we need firstly to understand what is fathering. Yeah. which father would not want to teach their child to hunt Absolutely. because they fear when you start hunting you'll not depend on them yeah. maybe there's a problem again in the equation that leads us to the answer yeah absolutely because the trait of a new father, father is you really want your son to do better than you mm. one of the defining traits of a father mm. you want to show them the ropes son one day mm. one day you're going to be faster than me I just have five kids and, and I, I won't race the first, my firstborn because I think he's faster than me now. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so true. I'm like, Adam, I'll beat you. No, dad, dad, come on, let's go. I'm like, nah, and you know what? Next, tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow, because I'm thinking, oh, man, that kid's probably faster than me. But I'm proud of him. Mm. That's suppo he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. The idea, again, this goes through misunderstanding of ministry. See, when people see, come to Fenero, and we were there, my team is here, and we were there on Thursday, and we saw there's 8,000, 9,000 people there, the, the, the guest thinks that's where it all, you, you woke up one day and, and, and it just and the microphone was handed you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is, which is why there's conversations. Yes. There is a cost. There is a process. Mm. Uh, Grace's process isn't mine. My process isn't yours. Your process is different. And, mm. and that's why when you actually really, really know that, there cannot be competition because mm -mm. God is too creative to clone me in you or you and me is you know and as much as he's 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 he's, he's diverse and and you're amazing and, and i usually say that if there's two of us one of us is unnecessary mm. you know so so come on we can oh, i need you you need me mm. together we're building the kingdom of god and mm. but it doesn't start with the microphone it doesn't start with the in fact i say real ministry starts with the broom mm. His ministry starts with a mop. Mm. Show me. You want my microphone? You want the microphone? Show me the broom. <laughs> Show me. Show me the broom. <laughs> and that's the equation yeah. that people don't want to take. Yeah. That's the process people don't want to Absolutely. take. Ministry would have been easy, like I said, if I was in my room and an angel comes. <laughs> and then I begin from the angelic visit. Yeah. Do, do, do you understand what no, I'm no. saying? Sounds good. But history has revealed pattern, even in the gospel. Yeah. God tells Abraham, 75 years, taking the same food under the same water with a wife and children, brothers and sisters, with a posterity and a heritage, a son of terror, and he tells him, move, and go to a place I'll show you. Yeah. You see? He gets into Canaan, he expects yeah. milk and honey. He expects the most comfortable things there is, right. and he finds the driest place. In fact, the Hebrew word for Canaan means lowly, a yep. very lowly, a dilapidated place, a disadvantaged place. Absolutely. And God tells him, this is where I've called you. You, you, you see, now we are beginning the equation. Yeah. He goes to Moses yeah. from being the son of Pharaoh. Come on. You understand he's, he's enjoying the joy of royalty, yeah. putting on royal garb and being respected and the servants licking him and kissing his ring. Yeah. And God takes the guy to a desert. Yeah. The, 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 the prince of Pharaoh is looking after Jethro's animals. Yeah. Our father Moses 
The list goes on and on to Elijah, the Tishbite, Elisha. It goes into uh, Paul, Paul the Apostle. Right. God separates him into Arabia, That's comes right. back through Damascus, and goes there, goes to Jacob, a boy who is under the best care, loved by the father, bond on by the brothers, betrayed yeah. by Potiphar, prison yeah. cell comes out. He, he, come, he becomes the governor. But yeah. what has he gone through, Joseph? Sorry. Difference. What has yeah. Joseph gone through? What has Jacob gone through to yeah. serve Laban? Yeah. You, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A man cheats him many yeah. times. 14 years is laboring yeah. for one woman. Yeah. You, you get wrong? And yeah. that's the equation we want to ignore yeah. and go to the end of it and say, God just pour some, some special oil. I want just Dr. Dennis to put a certain special oil on me. Boom. And then I fall down and then I come up and I say, I'm a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, the son of the living God, he's betrayed, he's, he's killed, he's crucified. Yeah. You understand? He bleeds blood. Yeah. He bleeds blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. He bleeds blood. Yeah. You, you, what we see is the cross, but we don't see the Gethsemane. No. We, we don't see his Gethsemane. We don't want to see where, where he, even the son of God tells God, take this cup. The son of God who came in the likeness, in the form, he, he was 100% God. Right. So I think that's the part of the equation that we don't put in, yeah. In, yeah. in this. But yeah. we, we, we show the answer. Yeah. We glamorize the answer. The answer is fun. So friends, what I was saying as we're going to go to a break real quick here, it takes time to create a servant of God. It takes absolute time. In fact, I say, if you want a mosquito, you can get one in a couple of hours. But an elephant takes 22 months. A weed takes, can grow overnight. Squash, three months. Oak tree, seven years. It takes time. There's just no getting around time that it takes to incubate a true servant of God. So, as we come back, we're going to get deeper into this cost. And, and, and uh, what would you tell the servants of, of God out there who are just at this beginning stage, Grace, in, a, in the next 30 seconds or so? Um, what do I do? You, you guys are telling me this, it's not glamorous. You're telling me I just won't get zapped and get it. <laughs> How do I get it? What, what we're saying to the servants listening when we're talking about time relative to the spirit, I mean, the fourth dimension understanding of time, not just time on the earth, what you count are years. And you, I mean, you might take 10, 5, 3, everybody has their own given time period. What we mean by time here is how fast you adopt and respond to the patterns That's that right. take you to the answer. That's right. Because there's a man who has received these things yeah. and he's yielded themselves yeah. himself to them. Yeah. He will redeem the time and do that in three, four years. But yeah. even the fastest yeah. needs time. Absolutely. Do you guys get that? Yeah. Do you guys get that? Yeah. All right, take a break. We'll see you in a minute here. God bless you. vision is an awakening. When I tell you we are going to take over the world, I know what I mean. The mandate and responsibility of us, it is making disciples of America, it is making disciples of Asia, it is making disciples of Europe, it is making disciples of all the nations of this world. In other words, our divine and primary mandate is the apostleship of the obedience unto all nations. That is why we pray the way we pray. We are not praying because we are desperate. We are praying because there is something inside us telling us there is a day that is going to come of reckoning where men are going to look back into me and they must find that that which the Lord had blessed inside of me somehow came out. The Bible says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Eleventh of August, twenty eighteen, at Kololo Airstrip, Venero, make manifest.
Hello, welcome back to the entire edition of the praise here. And um, we're, this is the minister's huddle. Huddle, to me, huddle means to kind of like get together and just figure some things out. It's not about I'm better than you, you're better than me. And it's not about you, seniority. It's not about you talking down at me. You, you, but to huddle together. And, and as we talked, Grace and I have had a lot of conversations privately about ministry today and the changing terrain and and we were talking in the back room about um, kids born in the wilderness and, and, and that disconnect, you know. Um, we, we know pain, my friends. We know, we know walking to church. I was born right here, as you guys know, Mokono. And, you know, God saved a redeemed church. No, well, the crusade at the city square. But three days later, I'm in redeemed church. And I joined the choir like three days later. I joined street, street meeting. Street evangelism team, and, and I was supposed to show up at a corner. I remember the, at Machiembe, I remember that. And, but I was 12 years old, and, and I was supposed to give my testimony. And I remember the first guy that comes up. I used to rape women. I used to do this. I was like, oh my goodness, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I'm not next. I'm definitely not next. So then the next guy. Guys, me, I used to be a night dancer. You see me? I used to dance all over the place. I'm like, okay, I'm not next. I'm next. And then they said, okay, Dennis, you're next. Now, of course, the crowd has gathered. And now this guy's are egging on. Okay, okay, what about you? I'm like, um, praise God. Eh? And I'm thinking, God, I have no, I have no testimony. I have no testimony. Um, the God, uh, Jesus uh, also saved me. <laughs> From what? And I'm like, okay, um, um. And I'm like, oh my God, I wish I had done some things. <laughs> I wish I had robbed some things. I wish, I wish. So I'm like, <laughs> and, 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 and Grace, it was a disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster. Okay, and then they say, and then okay, Mama Mary comes in and says, hey, Dennis, that was really good. Um, remember now on Monday, you do it again. I'm like, no, no, no. But I was being introduced to, you got to do it, whether you like it. Or not, you know, and, 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 I, and I sat there. It wasn't much, much later until I, that I realized that, you know what? Okay, my testimony is Jesus saved me from being crazy, you know. That, that, but I didn't have a testimony. And then we had to walk to church, jumping over bodies. We used to go through the Bat Valley. I used to live in Buganda Road. Bat Valley, they were killing people, raping people, you know, at some point. And recently I asked my mother, I said, Mommy, why did you keep sending me, <laughs> knowing I might not come back? But she said, you know... I gave you to Jesus, and we, you know, I, I yes, I celebrate her. I celebrate her, and it was it was really it was really tough. But overnight prayer meetings and all this crazy, we toiled. We would sit on on, on the top of pickup trucks to drive to crusades. We would sleep in schools on the floor with bugs, whatever. That's how we cut our teeth in ministry, hard. Labor, hard. Fine, later on, the glamour did come, and we formed Limit X, as you know, and, and we sang, and even that was hard. We used to sing, there was brownouts, and sometimes no power. We would put the guitar, the bass guitar, on a drum, so we could at least hear the resonance of the doom, 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 on the drum, on the drum, because there was no power, and we couldn't stop. We used to pray all night, Tuesday, and all night, Thursday, was practice. So... And it was all compulsory. If you didn't come for the all night prayer meeting, the band prayer meeting, you weren't going to sing, and, you know, on Sunday. It was, it was strict like that. And, and we learned that this is not a feather bed. That ministry is not made on a feather bed. That it's, it's not smooth sailing. There's a cost. But now, I see, guys. I, 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 want, I want ministry. You say, okay, you want ministry? I want to be, I want to be in a ministry. I want to be in a ministry. Okay. Um, can you come tomorrow? We have to set chairs up and, and, you know, what time? Like at seven, you know, because the service does Ah, uh, can I come later? It's like, wait, you want, what do you mean you want ministry? Because you, you, ministry for us, servanthood. You served. You served. In fact, Jesus inverts the whole thing. He inverts the whole thing. If you want, in God's government, I say this, Grace, in God, God's government, you actually descend to the top. You want the top? You don't ascend to the top. No, no, no. 
In fact, he avoided on purpose the word leadership. Because they wanted, oh, how do you lead? How do, uh, uh, uh. Do you, you guys want leadership? Bring your feet, which was the dirtiest part. He washed their feet. Like, you can't do that. Well, if I don't do this, you can't be one. You can't be. You can be my. You can't be my crew. Basically, ministry. You serve to go up. You go up. You go down to go up. In fact, you don't even seek to go up. You seek to go down. By seeking to go down, the Lord finds you worthy to perhaps lead. Perhaps. Perhaps lead. There's no entitlement. Perhaps lead. And so, I know that tens of thousands of people are watching now live and then even after, you know, this, this is going to go around the world. Um, talk about that part, Grace, for you. How God breaks you. Okay. Now, thank you very much for that because God doesn't want you to wash feet for the sake of washing feet. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want you to clean the toilet for the sake of cleaning it. Yeah. Because even without you, they could hire somebody to clean the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, That's somebody right. can come at the church without a place to sleep and say, for me to sleep here, can I wash the toilet? And he puts his hands that wash the toilet. God is, it's not just for the sake of of taking us through these things. The primary place of consecration, Proverbs, my son, give me thine heart. Yes. The you. Bible says he delights in a cheerful giver whose heart yeah. is in the giving. In the giving. It's one thing for me to clean the floor. Is my heart in the floor? The Greek word is, there is meraki. The, the place where the you is found in everything that is done. Because you need to associate to that yeah. low nature for God to exalt you. I think what becomes hard so more so for those that have not been to Egypt. Yeah. You know, like we have kids who are born in the grace dispensation, the grace, the grace. By grace, we are saved. Come on. They think that grace rubs away the equation. <laughs> please, please. Say that again. Grace does not take out. They think because grace is available, they're just going to learn to the answer. No. Paul said, the man of grace, yeah. I oh. labored yeah, yeah. more than all my brethren. Yeah. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was in me, the grace of God which was with me. He says that the grace that was bestowed on me, he says, that was not in vain. It was not useless. Put grace to use. How? By allowing grace to labor through you. We are not going to rub away the equation because we are under grace. Or with the thought that because we are we are, God has done it all, therefore there is no, uh, no, see, that's why we yield to his working to work through us. Yeah. Grace does not make us indifferent to the responsibility yeah. and the price. Grace pays the price through us. You understand? So for me, I think most importantly, it's very important for people to respect and understand that yeah. divine enablement grace is there to help you. Enablement. Enable enablement. you. Enablement. You understand? Yeah. It was grace for you to pray the whole night. It took grace. Absolutely. Without grace, Absolutely. you could not pray the whole night. Mm -mm. But I could use it in vain yeah. and have it and not use it. Yeah. He, that, that, that's abusing it. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? But most importantly, like we're sharing before with him, uh, some, some people were born in the wilderness. They don't understand Egypt. It's not their part. They don't get it. You understand? Now, kids born in the wilderness, they have their own understanding. You, you get it? Manna was falling every day. Come on. You, you get it? Yeah. Cloud by day, fire by night. Yeah. You see, the glory of God was so real yeah. that they start to take for granted the things that are not actually to be taken for granted. They start to take obvious. It's like when, when you're raised in a rich family, you take food That's as right. an obvious necessity. Right. 
when you are raised in a church where the anointing and the power of God is working every day, you take the miraculous as a simple thing until you go to a place where people need that liberty. When they tell you of the people in, 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 in Asia or some of the places like in Somalia where men tell you they have 15 minute services. 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Here you can even pray the whole night and speak in tongues and even waste time. My point here is that most importantly, even for me, yeah. for me, I thank God that I encountered grace before the labors. Because if I'd encountered labors before grace, yeah. I would think it was of my own. Right. That's good. But I thank God that the grace preceded the labors. To understand that it is God which works in us both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. But most importantly, in all this, that the preparation of the minister, the person, like I said, God wants your heart. I told people, there's not 13 tribes or 14 of Israel. They have the 12 up to the end of the world. How did God prepare the heart of Jacob to father 12 tribes? You understand? Under Laban. Laban, yeah. Laban yeah. was just it was yeah. Jacob's preparation Absolutely. To, yeah. to, 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 to father 12 tribes. Yeah. So Jacob wants to father 12 tribes. <laughs> and God takes you under a man who is a thief. And he cheats your wages 10 times. But what is coming out of you is Israel. Yeah. It's Israel. It's not you. It's, it's nothing to do with you. When I... W- Thank you. When I encountered you, I changed your name. You stopped being Jacob. You became the responsibility as of a nation. And everything you're doing, your nation will do. God has preserved Israel. To this day, the character and nature of that nation is embedded in the seed of the father Jacob. Now, ten times you're cheated. Ten times. And God tells you when the spirit of the rule arises against you, Keep your place. He's trying to preserve the integrity of the spirit. You keep your place. You guard your heart for out of it flow the issues of life. You keep your word. You're dealing with a novice who today is in choir. And another sister annoys them. And then they say, I'm not going back to choir. But they want the answer. God use me. Did you understand what I'm saying? We, we were beaten by men and we went back on their feet. After beating us. Yeah. You, you understand? And, and you said you're sorry, even for what you did not yeah, do. Yeah. Because God tells you, yielding pacifieth offense. The offense here is not what they have done for you. The offense here was that I expected you to be a bit more wiser yeah, than the way you're responding to this circumstance. Yeah, Why? Yeah. He wants to trust you with millions of people. But if you cannot be faithful with the little, how will he give you more? The man says he asks for a woman. Seven years after, they put him in another face. And the Bible says, oh, no, we don't do... It was another way. No, no, no. I mean, why did you tell me that in the first place so I can know how to work? But he tricked him, and the guy does it again. You, You understand? But you see, and I'm going to speak of this little distinction in two minutes only. All of this working in the life of Jacob, transitioning into Israel, you understand? Where he gathers them at his old age and says, gather you children of sons of Jacob. Gather you children of Jacob. May your father Israel speak to you. The spirit man in you. Yeah. And, and I love that Genesis used both. I think it's 49 or something. He, he said, gather you sons. Uh, Jacob called his sons and called them, gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. And verse 2 says, gather yourselves together and hear the sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. The Jacob Israel experience. And he prophesies on 12 tribes. And up to today, the word spoken on those tribes has been up to this day. What we don't see is the responsibility that nobody, he he was, he fathered tribes. He he did not simply father sons, which were sons, sons, to preserve a posterity for Israel. But what did he go through? A man tells you that the spotted and speckled shall be yours. And the next day, he takes it all out. And the next day, you have to come back to work. Are you hearing me? And you have to get almond trees and put them speckled, put animals next to the trough, drinking, watching them to produce the spotted and speckled because a miracle has to happen for you. If the inheritance can't come from him, God will give you your own. But more than all this, God wants a certain character in you. Will you go back? 
when he says no? Will you still serve when he frustrates you? Will you be still submitted? Will you cover him? Are you hearing me? Yeah, when, when he's naked and, yeah. and, 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 and drunk, are you yeah. going to cover him? Because if you don't have this character, yeah. what are you going to teach? Stuff. Yeah, because what, what people think is, they think that what we preach on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. they think that the words we speak every Thursday are the ministry. Uh-uh. Those are sermons. Yeah. The true minister is the spiritual man, Israel. Yeah. That is communicating as they hear the voice of Jacob. Yeah. And as we communicate these words, our spirits are representing, they That's predicate right. the experiences we've gone through. Right. And as you are faithful in the little, the Lord trusts you with more. The question is then, yeah. uh, will a man yield? Will a man serve? Will a man endure? God wants to see, when you didn't have transport, did you walk? Absolutely. Or you said, I'm not going to pray because there's no transport. God is testing the woman's heart to see. Yeah. When the man refused to respond to you and you wrote a letter and said, I leave you tonight. Yeah. Did you go back to the presence of God or you betrayed God? Yeah. When a big business deal came and it was in the time where God had wanted you in Come the presence, did on. you choose God over money? He is testing your heart because no man should Absolutely. think for a moment yeah. that God will not weigh your heart against his vision. That is not a minister. No. No. No, no it's, a, it's shocking when... Yeah, come on. Come on. You hear, you hear character and, and it's, it's chiseled. You don't get character in a prayer line or mm -mm. a good book, mm -mm. Bible course, mm -mm. anointing, workshop, zap on the floor. You can't sow a seed. To get character, unfortunately, character has to be chiseled. Of the spirit. And and when you when you uh, and when you pray, Apostle Grace, when you pray, God, please teach me to be kind. You're almost asking for him to s schedule. A hey, Jacob. Yeah. A uh, uh, Laban. Yeah. You you're directly asking, you're asking for, Laban. for Laban. Lord, where's my Laban? <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely and there's no glamour there <laughs> there's no there's no glamour there's no glamour paul says first corinthians 4 1 it says let a man so account us as, as of ministers yeah. of christ and of stewards of the mysteries of god that word ministers is the greek word hyperetas it means under roar these are guys who literally hang out in the bottom galleys of ships and all they did all day all day is to row repeat that that's row, important row. Under again. paul defines minister not as oh you said something powerful what we do here we sermonize and people think sermons the preaching is the ministry ministry is paul definition greek word huperetas everybody say huperetas say it huperetas huperetas they sat, same bench, all tied up. Their job, day, night, night, day, is to row. Row. Like that. <clears throat> all day. So all ministry day. is not the captain. Ministry, ministry is not the captain. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Take it. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's come not, on. It's carry not, on. It's not the captain. It's, yeah. it's, it's we are and the roars. We work. We labor hard. Sometimes I, I text him and it's like 4 a.m. I'm like, what are you doing up? It's Thursday. You should be asleep. said, man of God, I have to look at this stuff first. I have this. To, it's, it's work. We don't apologize for work. It is toil. Mm -hmm. It's endless toil. Through endless toil, the work is done. The work is done. It's not up to you. And so, and then, of course, he adds us, and we're ministers of Christ. Verse 2, the second verse, said, Moreover, it is required of stewards that one be found mm, faithful. faithful. Faith. Greek word, pistos, faithful. faithful. We talk about Laban. Yeah, yeah, faithful. Required. That's it. You do the two. I guarantee you, grace shall be upon you. To serve Jesus. Because I'm telling you, actually, they usually say in leadership, pop leadership, it is lonely at the top. In ministry, it's lonely at the bottom. So at the bottom is actually where ministers are made. Mm. There, not up. I want to lead 
Uh uh. Want to serve. Look for your bottom galley. Mm. Go. Show me the scars. Show me your calloused hands that have come from your endless hours of rowing. Then we talk. Then we talk. Apostle Grace, we're winding down. Talk to the minister out there. I, I think for me, I, 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 and recently I was sharing about the same scripture. That a minister, account yourself as a minister and a steward of the mysteries of God. A steward of the mysteries means that Christ already is a mystery. Mm. And we receiving him yeah, talk about that, right? means that we have received the greatest mystery on the face of the earth. Yeah. And the demystification of this mystery yeah, yeah. can truly only be defined in our faithfulness. In the whole Peretas. Is it operetas? The operetas, yes. yes. Sir. In our faithfulness in the whole Peretas. Yeah. That has been so greatly ignored. We, 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 we ignore that. Again, like I said, because we don't know the place of grace. The place of grace does not take away from the responsibility of who Peretas. It gives you the power. Yeah. To do it without your own strength. Because in your own strength, God knew. Grace, please say that again. Yes. Because there's a major misunderstanding. There's a, they're here, we hear it. But don't tell me I need to pay that price. I, could, is there a shortcut? No, no. You see, tell me any man who has had a shortcut and they're up there. Come on. There is none. You're not going to be the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Even Jesus Christ, the son of God. Come on. Yes, yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Even Paul, the, the light guy that lays the foundation of the gospel. Like I said, what people see is us preaching on Thursday. Us on this set. Yeah. And we don't want to relieve that story because we don't want to give glory to us. Because we know what God did in working through us. Instead of asking God, anoint me. Ask him. I'm a, just tell him I'm available. That's it. Let's ignore the anointing first. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There's a place for available men. Yeah. That's faithfulness. Yeah. Committed yeah. and available. Yeah. And if you come and say I'm available, give me a brush. Don't ask for the anointing. Three dimension. Come on. Speak seven times anointing. And one time some boy, young man came and said, I want eight times of your anointing. <laughs> What are you asking? Did you understand? Wow. Even Jesus asks, wow. will you take of this cup? Yeah. So, instead of us asking, oh God, anoint me. Give me a healing anointing. Without compassion? Yeah. And how will compassion come if, you, if you're not down here, roaring? Do you understand what I'm saying? How will it come? You see, yeah. ask for grace to roar. Yeah. Because this is the equation Come on. that is missing in the church. Yeah. And everybody wants the answer. Speak a word. People come, ministers, oh, what's your secret? It's not possible. Yeah. In the history, we've not seen it. And it's true. I've not even read it myself in history yeah, for 10 years for people to do 10,000 yeah. people with that. I've never yeah. seen it. Yeah, absolutely. And, no. and I want to tell them, yeah. it's the grace of God working in me. Working. Yeah. Not seated. Yeah. Not just smiling, yeah. working, yeah. laboring yeah. in me. Yeah. Don't ignore the equation. Yeah. And then ask for the result. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's give it up for Jesus. Woo! 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 Isn't that awesome? Thank you so much. And what stays with you? Can, can you just let us know what, what, what you guys feel um, on, on, our, on those platforms? But what you, the takeaway? Takeaway must be God, please give me the grace to come on, grace to one more time, grace to until the next time we chat together. May God richly, richly bless you. 
choir is going to take us out, the band's going to take us out, and thank you, Apostle Grace. Thank you so much. It was awesome. <laughs> Woo! Our vision is an awakening. When I tell you we are going to take over the world, I know what I mean. The mandate and responsibility of us, it is making disciples of America, it is making disciples of Asia, it is making disciples of Europe, it is making disciples of all the nations of this world. In other words, our divine and primary mandate is the apostleship of the obedience unto all nations. That is why we pray the way we pray. We are not praying because we are desperate. We are praying because there is something inside us telling us there is a day that is going to come of reckoning where men are going to look back into me and they must find that that which the Lord had blessed inside of me somehow came out. The Bible says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Eleventh of August, twenty eighteen, at Kololo Airstrip, Venero, make manifest.